Hi, my name is Mike. I'm a professor for social work management. And you are listening to Managing Around, the bi-weekly podcast about social science, culture and management. Managing Around is part of the Talk About Organizations podcast network, a community resource and discussion platform for key ideas in management and organization studies, which is supported by our listeners. Hi, everyone. Today, we talk about podcasting. Podcasting is a fabulous means of sharing files in audio format through the Internet. For example, an audio file retrieved from the Internet in MP3 is known as a podcast. In an instant, a podcast has been retrieved from the Internet and the user can listen to it via a mobile phone, an iPod, a personal digital assistant or any other media player portable or not. In this episode, we will talk about this technology and its application to education. In doing that, I will make you familiar with the advantages and drawbacks. First, let's get started with the question, what is a good podcast? An effective podcast must present its idea in a single format that can be easily explained verbally. Also, it can be presented in a series with all events relating to one another. Additionally, they are usually created in an electronic form that can be easily played. And finally, they must be stored on a website that is easily accessible and updated frequently. Let's come to our second question for today. How are podcasts applied in education? There are many advantages of synchronous, interactive, informative podcasting between learners and tutors. The podcast technology has intrigued educationists by the possibility it holds. When educators use podcasts for online lessons, it helps distinguish learning and offers additional assistance to students who may have individual learning requirements. Podcasts can basically enable every student to be included and to become part and parcel of the learning community. Lecturers can use educational podcasting in the online classroom in two different ways. They can choose to deliver their lectures through short podcasts that are theme-based or individually customized feedback to students. Firstly, a topic of a lecture could be delivered in a short format of about three to five minutes or to provide an overview of an interesting topic in about 10 to 20 minutes. Longer formats are usually used for chat shows and conversational stuff. As a result, experienced instructors organize their lectures into themed or related topics because of their effectiveness and long-lasting memory. Secondly, lecturers can promote students' independence in a class by delivering customized feedback in a short audio file. When good quality feedback is delivered to students, it helps them pursue lifelong learning. It also helps students internalize standards and respond actively to areas for personal improvement and therefore improve the standards of the evaluated work before submitting it. Effective feedback is crucial in education research. Therefore, the lecturer must realize that not all students will go through their written feedback. Moreover, educators have been experiencing challenges preparing audio feedback for students because they consume more time than written feedback. The introduction of new built-in equipment in learning management systems has improved the time taken by a lecturer to make audio feedback to an average of four minutes in every assignment compared to written feedback, which takes an average of 14 minutes per student. According to research by Kaplan, Wermer and Sarkisian from 2020, College students have a higher tendency to ignore written feedback as compared to audio files. Therefore, a combination of both can be a win-win arrangement for both sides. 
Let's finish with the last question for today. What do you need to know about learners' behavior when starting podcasting? Students have acknowledged in a recent study by Atlassen from 2017 that when they can access a podcast on the go or from the comfort of their homes, it becomes easy for them to write notes by engaging with the content. Also, they are happy that they can rewind the podcast, retrieve information, point out knowledge gaps, and clarify concerns. Therefore, these prospects enable learners to take charge of their education by encouraging students' independence. And last but not least, this is a really rocking bouncer at the end, the classic Management Murder podcast series. If you are a fan of crime, mystery, science and analysis, then you won't want to miss the compelling podcast series, The Classic Management Murder. These short episodes are perfect snippets of educational and intriguing fun that will captivate their listeners and have you vying for more. With six Acts altogether, this series goes into the mysterious murder of Frederick Wilson Taylor and the investigation by the research turned detective Lillian Muller Gilbert. It begs the mean question of inquiry regarding the unfinished business that Taylor mentioned before his death. You will also be able to enjoy a lightweight lesson about the classical management schools featuring renowned engineers researchers and theorists. Frederick Wilson Taylor, Henry Fayol, Frank and Lillian Gilbreth, and Max Weber. While examining these figures and the fictional murder they were involved in, you can also expect these series to give a wonderful listening experience that you will want to enjoy again and again. If you are interested, you will find a link to the podcast in the show notes. Happy podcasting and see you soon. All right, that's it for today, dear listeners. I truly appreciate all your efforts to tune in my podcast for this episode. Please, if you liked this episode, don't forget subscribing to the podcast channel in your favorite podcast app so that you can stay up to date whenever a brand new episode of Managing Around is released. Stay safe and we will see us on the next episode. Thank you for listening. Managing Around, the bi-weekly podcast about social science, culture and management. Managing Around is part of the Talk About Organizations podcast network, a community resource and discussion platform for key ideas in management and organization studies, which is supported by our listeners. If you liked this episode, please leave a review on your favorite podcast website. There's also a link in the show notes. If you've got any thoughts on this episode or if you've got any idea about new podcast topics or questions you'd like to discuss, send me an audio file or voice note to hi at profmanagement.de. For any non-audio comments, drop a tweet or DM to at profmanagement on Twitter or Instagram, please. For more information, visit my website www.profmanagement.de. Thank you for listening and see you next time.